Hey everybody, it's David Breen with Cats in Black. I had a request for a quick tutorial on how to do this. So you got a slider here, and as you move the slider, he opens his mouth. So it's, it's simply using a slider to get a morph target, to drive a morph target. Alright, so to do this, first you need to right click and go to user interface and create a widget blueprint, which I've already done here. You open that up and on the left here under the palette, you got the slider. So you just click and drag the slider in. And then you can customize it a bit, you know, in the appearance, you got the step size, or not that one, you don't want that one. You want the uh, bar thickness, and slider handle color, which I changed here to red, under appearance. And then you just plop that down. And then you go to your graph, and here's what you want your graph to look like. So you take a little screenshot of that. So on event tick, you're casting to your character, whatever that is, third third person character, top down character. And then you are setting the value from your top down character, a uh, variable, float variable, a custom one, that you call morph value. And you take your slider over here Mine was slider 60, the original one I created. You drop that down, get it, right here. And then you drag off of it and type in get value. So you get the value of what your slider is. And your slider's value is gonna change as you slide it. So that's already programmed in as you slide it. So as you slide it, you're getting the value and then you're setting the morph value inside of your character blueprint on every event tick and that's what it does and then I'm running a custom function to apply this value to the actual morph targets so now we can go into the top-down character blueprint and I'll show you what this looks like here's the custom event for morphs so this is what sets the morphs so you just go set morph target for the teeth, the jaw open, and for the jaw open. And here's the custom variable, morph value. And you just plug that into the value for both. So whatever this is, it will change the value in real time of these two morph targets. And course don't forget event begin play create new widget blueprint select your blueprint you made add to viewport plug the return value into the target you don't need to worry about that as the order um, and then I just have it disable the movement so he's not moving around for demo purposes but that's it custom value set up like this And then inside the widget event graph, you set it up like this, and it's calling the function morphs from the top down character on every event tick to make sure that it sets it to the correct value. And then it's getting the value of the slider as you move it and setting that to the value that's setting the morphs. And that's it, and that's how you get um, you could use this for like a title screen for your characters select or customization and when you like have this for like head size or whatever and as you slide it over you could have a morph for his head getting bigger or his eyes getting smaller whatever all right thanks for watching please like my video subscribe if you found this helpful you all have a great day